Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you a new toy I finally bought myself. Um, let's have a look. Yes, it's the Sony PlayStation 5 and believe me when I say this, this is one of the hardest things to get hold of here in the UK. I was very lucky on one day when I just tried and tried and was finally able to buy one within a short space of time and collected it that very morning. Um, I went for the disc version, not the digital version, just because I wanted to be able to use any, all of my old PS4 things that I could just put straight into the machine and play. Um, but here's the unboxing. So let's have a look what's inside the box. First things first is the boring instruction manual, who wants to look at that? And then it's the brand new DualSense wireless controller. This has got to be the most advanced controller PlayStation I've ever brought out. So let's test it out later on. The DualSense wireless controller charge cable also Next is the stand. Now this stand, I must admit, isn't the best looking stand. Let's see that later on. And another cable. This is a HDMI cable. This is a ultra high speed 4K HDMI cable. And here is the machine itself. Quite hefty, uh, quite bigger than I expected. Quite weighty as well because of the internal, I suppose, parts. And here on the front, we have two USB ports, one USB-C fast port and the basic USB port. And on the back, we also have the two USB standard ports, as well as the Ethernet socket, uh, HDMI and power cable. But overall, impressed, although I'm not too sure on this whole white finish, but more on that again later on. First things first, I did only set this up on my uh, bedroom TV, which is 4K, um, it hasn't got HDR, but initially you just have to go through the boring bit, set up the Wi-Fi, uh, download the update and agree to the terms and conditions. So let's go skip past all of that. After a quick restart, you can see it's HDMI port and it's running at 4K, 60 hertz. And surprisingly enough, I thought PlayStation might have put in a few more surprises in terms of demoing the power qualities of this machine. But let's try the first and only thing that they've included, which is Astro's Playroom. And I think this is purely just to highlight the new uh, DualSense controller. Uh, with its haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. So let's just jump in. A yeah, brief history into PlayStation. I was surprised how many things I've had the honor of owning PlayStation wise. I'm not an Xbox fan, so I have only stuck with PlayStation. Uh, first things first, a vibration. Adaptive triggers, so yeah, these will have a lot more pull on them, tension on them. The touchpad, which we're used to again, but this one that you can type on. The, yeah, 360 motion sensor, this is pretty much standard. Can't wait to test this out on Formula One games. And the microphone on the front, yeah, so yeah, if you're going to be gaming online, you don't have to no longer use the earphone or headsets if you don't want to. So yeah, I have seen online there is um, face plates you can buy for the P PS5, which I'm tempted to get black ones. So any comments on people, um, I don't know, recommendations or experience if you do have one of these and you've purchased a black face plate, which one do you recommend? Again, because it's going to be sitting underneath my TV cabinet um, it, although you will see it I mean I'm not too worried about how it feels to the touch but I just want it to be all black rather than this white finish and I think I will be buying a black controller at some point because yeah white one's going to be getting dirty very quickly yeah my other concern is the built-in uh, 825 gigabyte SSD drive which I imagine 
after a few games is going to get full up. So although you can use external USB drives, I think SSD is the way forward. Uh, but again, I think that's going to have to be another possible upgrade down the line at some point. And lastly, I think the only thing I'm looking forward to is the up-and-coming games out on the PS5. Um, although I have loaded in a few of my old PS4 games, uh, digital and disc versions, uh, one being FIFA 21, um, I do look forward to seeing some real graphic heavy purpose-built PlayStation 5 games, so let's see what the future brings us. And lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so, and feel free to leave some comments on your thoughts and recommendations if you also own a Sony PS5, um, especially on things that you've found out about it, as I am just new to this, so I hopefully will be getting more games for this. Until the next video, I'm out.